Okay, question number 20. What we've got here is a quadratic equation. Now there's three general, well, there's several methods you can use to solve a quadratic. First of all, you can use the, um, you can factorize. Second method, you can use the formula. The third method is that you can complete. Oh, that doesn't even that says compt. Whoops. The third method. is to complete the square and the fourth method is the graphical method which we've already used this paper we draw the graph and have a look now there's a clue here it doesn't always work but there's a clue here it says three significant figures so we know it's probably not going to factorize so we know we've already used the graphical method as well so we know we're going to have to use the formula to complete the square but because it's not a normal x squared this one becomes quite difficult it is possible but the numbers you get aren't very nice so it seems a much more logical method to go ahead and use the formula. Now, if we just flip back after all the work that we've done, if we flip back to the uh, if we flip back to the beginning of the paper, you'll see this is the formula sheet you get, and you see here the quadratic equation. So we get this. So let's take. Um, Let's take a little snapshot. Of this. And let's go back to our page. I'm not sure it's going to come out that well. And for some reason it's gone a bit crossed out, but we can see the general idea. And then we've just got to go ahead and put the numbers in that we need. So for us, we can see that A here is 3, B is 2, and C is minus 4. So I just need to do this, use this equation. It says the negative of B, so for me that's minus 2, plus or minus square root of b squared which is 4 minus 4 lots of a which is 3 c which is minus 4. Now we can see that this minus and this minus are going to make a positive number here and then we get all over lots of 2a which is we can see 6. So let's write that a little bit more simply and a little bit neater. Plus or minus the square root of 4 and then we've got 4 times 3 times 4, and we know the minus and minus is going to make it plus. So we've got 4 plus, 4 times 3 is 12, plus times by 4 is 48, which together is going to make 52. Everything on the right hand side is divided by 6. And then it's going to give us two solutions. We're going to get the positive solution and the negative solution, or the, when we add these numbers and when we subtract it, it might not work out positive and negative. So therefore the x is equal to. Using my calculator, I'm just going to set up a fraction. I'm going to do minus 2. I'm going to do a plus 1 first. The square root of 4 plus 48, which I know is 52 anyway, but divided by 6. And I'm going to get that there. So I know one of the answers is 8, 6, 8, 5, 1, 7, 0, 9, 1, 8. And that carries on. And then I don't want to do the same thing but using the negative. This is where I get my second solution. So I'm going to use a little sneaky trick on my calculator. I'm going to go up. And then I'm just going to go back. Instead of hand table again, I'm just going to change that plus, delete the plus, and put a minus in. And then I get minus 1 1.53518375 it said three significant figures. We've been saying that a lot, but I have to check. So my answers are x equals three starts one, two, three, so 0 0.869, or uh, that was a five, wasn't it? 
So one, two, three here. This zero doesn't count as significant because it's at the beginning. This one does. One, two, three. So it's minus one point five. Four. Just check that gets my answers. 0.869. Done.